What's good? I'm Jeremy and y'all know me as Buscular and today we're gonna be debunking TikTok life hacks because TikTok cat not for real. I'll be watching a video on TikTok and it'll be like a before and after of a dog getting a haircut and it'll be completely different dog after and it, it really be making me want to delete the app. Let's be real. But without further ado, let's go. TikTok life hack number one. So for TikTok life hack number one, lemon actually takes away highlighter. So if you accidentally write highlighter on, you know, a textbook that you have to return to school, then you can actually take it away with lemon. So as you can see right here in the video, the lemon actually took away the highlighter. So what we have here is my old yearbook from middle school. So I'm gonna, you're gonna see Baby Bus right now. Okay, so I opened it to my page, and as you can see right here, I have oh my, my picture. God, oh, hell, no, I look man, the don't... same. I look the exact same. Just I got a couple piercings, facial hair. That's it. But right here, as you can see, we have the line, and as you can see, I'm rubbing it a little bit, and it's not going away. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rub the Q-tip on the line because we don't have a lemon unfortunately but we gotta make what works so what we're gonna do is we're gonna rub it on the highlighter and see if it oh Yay! yo it actually looks, it works it's going away as you can see it's working still and the highlighter is actually gone what's well, not fully gone but it's working if we had a lemon it would probably be better but we can try it on another page because we can expose my homie Juan that we exposed in the other video baby picture so as you can see where's Juan where's Juan Juan's right here little baby Juan so that's baby Juan and then his name's over here with highlighter so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it on the line again and see if it works I'm just gonna shake it all right so we're gonna would you say that Oh, yo, it's gone. That's crazy. Okay, so TikTok life hack number one. It worked, it worked. Okay, so that one's true. And on to the next one. TikTok life hack number two um, includes more insult. So actually, you guys might not know, but you guys, we were using this wrong the whole entire time. Even me, like I, I wouldn't have known. Like we all thought that this is the correct way to use it. But say that like, you don't have a salt shaker and this is all you have, you might like pour a little too much into your food that you don't want to. What you're actually supposed to do is remove this cardboard right here. Ah! Fuck. Yo, my fingers are bad. Whatever. Give me a second. It didn't even work. Two hours later. We'll be right back. You keep recording. But I got a knife. Uh, there's like a little hook pushing it. Okay, what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna bend this little. That's not what we're trying to do. Give me one second. Let me try another tool. Oh, you okay? <laughs> she actually almost fell. Okay, so she's gonna do it. So what she has to do is remove the little piece of paper that's actually like right there. Oh, did you get it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so she got it. And what you're actually supposed to do after you get the cardboard out that's covering these little holes right here. Proper way to use it is you're supposed so to. So now it's gonna just fall through the through the little holes as if it was a regular salt shaker. Honestly? Life pack, what, approved? Approved. Honestly, I would have never, I would have never like realized to do this. I would have been doing it all wrong like my entire life. And it's pretty sad. TikTok. You clutched up on this one. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. No cap! All right, guys. So this is life hack number three. And it's a secret message. So what you need is a lime or lemon and Q-tip. And you could actually write a message on a piece of paper and then light it to show it. And yeah. 
So what she's gonna do is she's gonna put <laughs> she's gonna shank the cute the Q tip into the line yeah. and she's gonna write a secret message on the paper. If you guys know what she's writing right now before she even lights it, write it in the comments down below. Alright, now I'm gonna light and the see paper. If you correct. Use a lighter. It does look cute because you can start seeing it through the S already. <laughs> if you have to we can go a little closer to the paper because at the same time is it not? i think i'm supposed to burn it from the front wah 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 this fucking tiktok one is a fail this one is a fail And right now, as you can see, all this stuff is on the desk because, well, there was a monitor there, but set up. yeah, the chargers, as you can see, they lost and they started, they started, they went 0 and 2. So I'm going to show you guys what happened to the monitor. It's in my closet, but if you, I don't know if you can see it, but I punched, a sh I punched it so hard and and it shattered. So right now, it's, there's no monitor there, but we're gonna get back into it. I still play games, but it's on the TV right now. I didn't get a monitor, but we'll be back on a monitor soon. So for TikTok life hack number four, apparently ketchup can shine silver jewelry. So I have a silver rope chain right here, and it's, I don't know if it's shiny in the camera, but I mean, it's it's not that shiny in, in person. So we're gonna see if good old ketchup can shine. So what you also need is a towel to rub it with, because you're actually gonna be rubbing this instead of just putting it in ketchup. Ketchup's not like this. Plastic, yo. Damn it. Two hours later. All right, so we're gonna put the ketchup on the towel. Is that good? You think that's good enough? Yeah, I think that's a good amount. Okay. And then we're gonna get our... Should we rub it? Like, we're just gonna do something. You know, just gonna rub it how you might rub other things. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna talk about that on this channel. All right. I mean, it's looking. Hold on. It's actually looking a lot shinier. I'm not gonna lie. Look at it. After rubbing this with ketchup and getting the ketchup off, it's pretty shiny. I think the science behind it is because ketchup is kind of oily, right? It's, it's like, like oil based almost. Kind of acidic too. Yeah, because it's tomato based. So I think. That's why it works. If you want to really know if it works, try it out yourself at home. If you have jewelry that might tarnish pretty quickly or easily, don't do it. But if you, if it doesn't tarnish and it'll, it should be fine underwater, then go ahead and try it. It doesn't hurt, but I think it made it a little bit shinier. So that one was true. And I have a ketchup towel and this thing that keeps haunting me with ketchup spots all over my desk. So. On to, the, on to the next one. So for TikTok life hack number five, there is a way to test batteries to see if they're good or bad without actually like putting them inside of something and you know, using that item to see if it works or not. Well, you can bounce a battery and based on how many times it bounces, you can tell if it's good or bad. So if it bounces once, that means the battery is good and you know, you can use the battery. If it bounces multiple times, then it's unalive. It's dead. It's not gonna work. So we're gonna test these out and we're gonna see if they work. You know, AAA and AA, it shouldn't, it's not gonna matter what, um, 
what's it called, what type of battery it is. It's gonna work for all types of batteries. So we're gonna test the Polaroid battery first. And it has to be, by the way, to test it, you have to have six inches of space within the desk and the, well, any flat surface and the battery. So this is about six inches and we're gonna drop it to see if it bounces. So as you can see, that one just lit and just fell over. So it bounced once, so that means it's alive. Now we're gonna test the AAA battery to see if it you know, bounces. Okay, as you can see, that one, it went down, 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 off, <laughs> didn't go off the desk, but it bounced. So this one's bad, no bueno, don't use it. So, this life hack is true. On to the next one. TikTok life hack number six. Supposedly, if you put a scrunchie on a can, around a can, you know, say if you're by the pool, it's not gonna flow, or it's not gonna sink, my bad. <laughs> It's supposed to flow. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you that what a can would do if we didn't have a scrunchie around it or anything to help your drink float. It's just gonna it's just gonna you know, sink. So with the scrunchie, like I said, supposedly it's supposed to help it float. So, you know, if you're swimming or you're just chilling in the pool, this can just float next to you. No, it's cap. It's cap. It's sunk. <laughs> that is so cap. I was excited, you know. I wanted this to work. But you know, imagine like just chilling at the pool with your friends or your family, and your drink just <laughs> flowing by, you know. But you want some, you sip it, crack it open, you know, drink it. But no, you can't. You gotta use like a little drink floaty or whatever they, whatever you have to help your drink float. So that's a fail. Milky, <laughs> Milky, she surprised in video bomb. So yeah, tell me it was a fail. Bark, speak. She ain't gonna do it. On to the next one. So for TikTok life hack number seven, supposedly if you put a dryer sheet on the back of a fan or any fan you have access to the back of, you can make, you know, your own air fresher because dryer sheets smell good. They're not only to take static away from laundry. They smell good. So if you have a strong enough fan, like this one, it would just stick on right to the back. But if you don't, just use some tape or you close pins, whatever, whatever would work. But then it would just stick on like this. Because I think dryer sheets are like pretty thin, you can like kind of see through them almost. So I think that's why it kind of works. And then supposedly, you turn it back around or wherever you want throughout your room. It's gonna make an air pressure. It actually does work though. Like it's it's a minimal smell, but it smells good. I can smell it from the camera right here. Like it smells yeah, really good. good. It smells like I just opened like the dryer after I just finished laundry. Like fresh smelling clothes, like clean. So this one is true. So yeah, if you wanna try it, get some dryer sheets, get a fan, and it'll work. So for TikTok life hack number eight, this life hack is to see if eggs are still good before you crack them or cook them. So this is a way to see if your eggs are still good or still eatable, edible, before you crack them. Because if you store your eggs in a container like this or anything of this type, like I do, you're not gonna be able to tell if your eggs are really good or bad, if, you know, forget when you, when you bought them. So the way is to tell, or the way to tell is, you get a bowl of water and you're just gonna drop the egg in the water like that. If you can see the egg right now, let me put it more towards the middle. Let's see what it's doing. It's semi on its side and it's somewhat standing up. So if it lays on its side and sinks to the bottom and it's laying on its side, that means the egg is perfectly fine and it's a good egg. You, know, you wanna cook that egg. But if the egg, you know, 
stands on its pointy side like this and sinks. That means the egg is still edible, but you know, it's not gonna be edible for that long. And if it just completely floats, don't eat the egg, trust me. Don't even crack it, like, the egg's bad. I mean, something's gonna happen to your stomach. Too. So I'm gonna try and find one to see if one does float. But I don't think we have any bad eggs, to be honest. Yeah. We're pretty clean, pretty clean. So that TikTok life hack works, and on to the next. So the last two TikTok life hacks, I'm actually gonna have you guys let me know if they work or not because one of them I can't really show you because nobody in my household has hiccups and the other one, same thing, nobody in my household has a splinter so right now I'm leaving it up to the people watching this video to go down and comment. If any of you guys have a splinter or hiccups, unfortunately, I don't hope you guys have that but if you guys do, you guys can try this out and just let me know in the comments down below and let everybody else know if it works or not so they can try it too. But with the first life pack is take away hiccups with a tablespoon of peanut butter. I've seen many TikToks and watched many TikToks of people saying that this works. So if it works, please let me know because I always have hiccups like at the most inconvenient times and it'd be ruining my day sometimes because it's just having a conversation with someone and you know, like it's annoying. So. Please let me know if this works, because if it works, it's gonna be a life changer. You know, I'm never gonna have hiccups again. Neither should you guys. So, with that being said, that's TikTok life hack number nine. And on to the next. And for TikTok life hack number 10, we got a special guest. It's my favorite Pokemon, Gengar. But besides the point, for the last TikTok life hack, you're gonna need a banana peel. So, supposedly, I've seen videos. If you wrap a wet side of a banana peel on a finger or like any place on your hand or body that might have a splinter, this is gonna pull it out on its own. For some reason it works. People say it works at least. I can't try it because like I said, I don't have a splinter so this one's up to you guys to let me know if it works in the comments down below. But yeah, that's how you do. You just leave the wet side of the banana peel on the finger like I've been doing for about two to five minutes and the spinner will just pop right out by itself. I waited eight months for the charges to go all in two, bro. Pray for me, bro. Subscribe, bro, please. Like, it will really help, bro. With that being said, man, I'm out, bro.